could employ Amendment Number 25 to get rid of him. So when we think about uh, the president is on the golf course today with Senator Rand Paul. Yesterday he was having uh, a second golf date with Senator Lindsey Graham. And when you talk about uh, the cabinet, we know that uh, the Secretary of State has had to come out and not deny having said a reported uh, NBC News exclusive uh, phrase about the president a reaction to calling him a moron over the summer uh, appearing today uh, on a different network again not being able to deny that statement but having to get on the record about what Senator Bob Corker said uh, that he appears to have been castrated by President Trump uh, the Secretary of State saying that he's fully intact what do you make of the people that are having to defend themselves? Uh, you know, here we are, it's October a year later. Uh, we're getting October surprises uh, kind of all month long. Uh, but it seems like it's constant silly season. Well, let me just say this. I believe that Tillerson uh, is there to get the sanctions lifted. This president said when he was going in doing the campaign that he was going to lift those sanctions against Russia and Putin once he was elected. And so they are in this relationship where the president will not criticize, criticize Putin, uh, where Putin and Tillerson have a relationship. The three of them are still focused on lifting those sanctions so that Putin can drill into the Arctic because there are billions of dollars uh, to be realized if, in fact, they can get that done. And Tillerson has already been involved with helping to deal with um, making sure that Enron uh, is taken care of with the deal that he made uh, with Putin. And so it's unfortunate that we have not only a cabinet uh, that appears for the most part to be incompetent, incapable, and not working uh, for the best interests of Americans. And unfortunately, the, the legislators are not moving quickly mm -hmm. enough. The Senate is sitting there. I don't know what they're waiting on. The Republicans know that this president is not, you know, trustworthy and he's not competent to be president of the United States. What are they going to do? They're going to sit there until our democracy starts to unravel. They'd better get on it and understand we've got to get rid of this president. Congressman, I want to switch gears because the other big headline that we've been